Welcome everybody. What I want to do is show you how to evaluate cosine of 11 degrees uh, to the nearest thousandth. So first thing we need to remember is cosine of theta is going to represent our adjacent side all over our hypotenuse. Okay. Now, looking on this triangle, uh, we're not really given anything, but we do need to understand at least where those two uh, parts are to help us kind of understand where we get the cosine function. So when we're looking at this, the opposite of my right angle is going to be my hypotenuse, and the angle that connects my angle theta with my right angle is going to be my adjacent side. Okay? So cosine is going to represent the ratio of my adjacent over my hypotenuse. Now, that ratio is equal to the cosine of my angle. Now, here's the important thing. What we're given is we are actually given already the angle 11 degrees. So cosine of theta, we actually know what theta is. Theta is our missing ang is our angle. So cosine of 11 is going to equal a ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, to figure that number out, what we're going to have to do is plug in our calculator. So we can take any scientific graphing calculator, and all I'm simply going to do is make sure I'm in mode in I'm sorry, in degree mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just type in cosine of 11 degrees. So cosine 11 degrees leaves me 0.981627183. And that's all it shows up on my calculator. But it says it wants to round it to the nearest thousandth. So I'm going to go ahead and take to my nearest thousandth place. And therefore, my final answer is just going to be 0.9816. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you find the cosine of 11 degrees.